This week I have one main goal on my mind, adding loot to the game. We already have monsters to kill, and we even have a few different items, so adding loot seems like the perfect next step. But first, I think I need to do a little cleanup. You see, I've been having a lot of trouble with some of my networking. The problem I'm facing is that my entire networking stack relies on a single concept, messages. Messages are great, don't get me wrong, but what I really miss is just making an API call and getting a response back. Messages unfortunately don't really have a way to do that, they usually just go one way. So I decided to take some time and build a fully fledged RPC framework on top of the current messaging stack. It actually turned out pretty well, and now I can send RPCs along with my messages whenever I want to do something transactional, like logging in or joining a server. How it works is simple, at the lowest layer everything is still a message, and the RPC framework defines three types that can be sent. A request message, a response message, or just a regular message. When the client sends a request, they include an ID called the request ID. When the server receives the request, the server will respond with a response message and will include the same request ID in the response. This ensures that the client can correlate the request and the response together, which lets the client close the request loop. Messages are even simpler. We just shoot them off and never hear from them again. Now that the RPC framework is built, I was able to clean up a lot of the scattered login code. This left me in a housekeeping mood, so I decided to go ahead and clean up a few more things. I didn't like the connected text that sat at the bottom of the screen. It felt out of place, so I converted it to an icon and moved it to just below the minimap. Next I added a chat box. It was pretty easy to miss a message if you weren't paying attention, so the chat box helps a lot with that. To implement it, I just tracked the last 8 messages in a ring buffer and display them in reverse order. It took a little tweaking to get the text to align properly, but after that I got it working. Alright, now that the cleanup's over, we can now move on to the main task at hand, monster loot. To get this feature in place, I need to do three things. First, I need to create an inventory system so that players can actually use the loot. Next, I need to create a new entity, the loot bag, which will let players pick up items off the ground. And lastly, I need to create a loot table so that when a monster dies, I can randomly drop shitty loot for the thousandth time, thus forcing the player to continue grinding an ungodly amount of hours on the same boss just so they can get one single drop. So let's get started on that first part. I decided to put the inventory bar at the bottom of the screen because that's where Minecraft put it, and they seem to know what they're doing. Players can drag items to reorganize their inventory, and they can click items to equip them. I haven't created anything in the UI to show the currently equipped items, but when a player equips an item, that player's sprite will also change. Because there's some networking involved here, I logged in with two players to make sure the equipment changes for both players. Now that we have a working equipment system, we can now start adding loot bags. When a player walks near a loot bag, a looting interface will appear above their inventory. It'll show the items in the loot bag, and then let the player click or drag the items into their inventory. If the player clicks an item in the loot bag, it'll go into their first empty inventory spot. To get this to work safely, we do need to validate a few things on the server. First, we need to make sure the entity we're looting is actually a loot bag. And second, we want to make sure the player is close enough to the loot bag to actually loot it. Now that the player can pillage bags and equip items, all that's left is to have monsters drop loot bags when they die. To accomplish this, I created a global loot table that every bag is generated from. The loot table is essentially just a list of possible items and an associated weight of how likely we are to roll that item. To generate a new loot bag, I do multiple rolls on the table. Each roll can either return an item, or more likely return nothing at all. The table will change as I add new items, but I think it's a good starting point on how the mechanic will work. There's a neat Red Blob Games article that describes this weighted table method, but instead they use it for generating damage. I put a link to it in the description, so feel free to check it out. Well that's all for this one, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.